Easy Reading Edition 4 Jesus, Our Obedient Brother Sabbath, January 15 Read for this week's lesson Leviticus 25 verses 25 to 27 and 47 to 49 Hebrews 11 verses 24 to 26 1 Corinthians 15 verse 50 Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 4 Memory verse God's children all have a body. That is why Jesus himself had the same body. But because Jesus also had a body, he was able to die and stop the devil. The devil has power to make people die. But Jesus, by his own death, was able to stop the power of death. Hebrews 2 verse 14. Hebrews 1 says that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus leads the angels. Jesus shines as bright as God. He is just like the same as God himself. Hebrews 1 verse 3. In Hebrews 2, Jesus is the Son of man. For a short time, God made Jesus a little lower than the angels. Hebrews 2 verse 7. Jesus became a man with all our human weaknesses and he died in hebrews 1 god says to jesus you are my son hebrews 1 verse 5 in hebrews 2 jesus says that humans are my brothers and sisters hebrews 2 verse 12 in hebrews 1 the father announces that jesus is god and king hebrews 1 verses 8 to 12 in hebrews 2 the son says he will trust in God, Hebrews 2 verse 13. In Hebrews 1, Jesus is God, the one who made us, who keeps us alive and is our king. In Hebrews 2, Jesus is the human high priest, our spiritual leader. He will never fail us. What does this Bible truth teach us? Jesus, the son, is also Jesus, our brother. The work of Jesus our brother shows us the most perfect picture of God who loves us and made us. Hebrews 1 verses 1 to 4 Sunday, January 16 Brother and Savior Leviticus 25 verses 25 to 27 and verses 47 to 49 Read what Moses says in Leviticus 25 verses 25 to 27 and verses 47 to 49. In these verses, who can save a person who sold himself to pay a loan? Also, who can buy back land for the family member? The law of Moses talks about the person who must sell his land or himself because he is poor. The poor man will get back his land or his freedom in 50 years. The 50th year was a special Sabbath year. At this time, people freed their slaves and gave them back their land. But 50 years is a long time to wait. That is why the law of Moses said that the nearest male family member can pay the money that the poor man owes then the poor man can be free from the loan or slavery much sooner. When someone is killed, his nearest male family member also must become his avenger. Then the avenger must go after the killer and punish him. Deuteronomy 19 verses 11 to 13. Read Hebrews 2 verses 14 to 16. What do these verses say about both Jesus and us? Hebrews 2 verses 14 to 16 shows us that we are slaves of the devil, but Jesus is the one who buys us from slavery and makes us free. When Adam sinned, humans became the slaves of Satan. We no longer can do what is right and good on our own. Romans 7 verses 14 to 24 Worse, the penalty for sin is death. We cannot pay this penalty ourselves. Romans 6 verse 23 So on our own, we have no hope without Jesus. 
Jesus became human, the same as us. He became our close male family member to save us. Jesus is not ashamed to say we are his brothers and sisters. Hebrews 2 verse 11 Here is an interesting thought. When Jesus became human, he also showed us at the same time that he was the, was God. In the Old Testament, the real Savior of Israel or close male family member is Yahweh. Read Psalm 19 verse 14, Isaiah 41 verse 14, Isaiah 43 verse 14, Isaiah 44 verse 22, Jeremiah 31 verse 11, Hosea 13 verse 14. Yahweh is another name for God. Just how close can Jesus be to you? What has been your experience? Why is your having this experience so important to your faith? Monday, January 17. He is not ashamed to call them brothers. Hebrews 11 verses 24 to 26. Jesus is not ashamed to call us his brothers and sisters. Hebrews 2 verse 11. Jesus is one with God, but he loves us so much that he made us part of his family in heaven. Compare this love with the public shame that the Christians suffered in their communities. Hebrews 10 verse 33. Read about Moses in Hebrews 11 verses 24 to 26. How do the decisions Moses made show us what Jesus did for us? Moses was called the son of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt's daughter, Hebrews 11 verse 24. Moses was a powerful man in the most powerful kingdom on earth at the time. Moses got the best education and military training. Stephen tells us the Egyptians taught Moses everything they knew. He was powerful in all he said and did. Acts 7 verse 22. Ellen G. White says that Moses was a favorite leader of the soldiers in the Egyptian army. Pharaoh also loved Moses, his adopted grandson. Ellen G. White tells us that Pharaoh wanted to make Moses king after him. Read Peter's in Prophets, page 245. Moses gave up all this honor and fame when he chose to be part of the people of God. The Israelites were slaves. They had no education. They were not a powerful people at all. What does God ask from us? Read Matthew 10 verses 32 and 33. 2 Timothy 1 verses 8 and 12 and Hebrews 13 verses 12 to 15. The Christians suffered much. They were hurt and shamed in public. So they started to feel ashamed of Jesus. Now Paul warns the Christians they are in danger of nailing him, Jesus, to the cross again, shaming him before everyone. Hebrews 6 verse 6. So Paul keeps telling his readers to continue to trust in Jesus. Hebrews 4 verse 14. Hebrews 10 verse 23. God wants us to accept Jesus as our God and our brother. As our Savior, Jesus paid the penalty for our sins. As our brother, Jesus showed us the way we should live. God made us to be like the same as His Son. In how we think and act, Christ Jesus was first and all those people who belong to God are His brothers. Romans 8 verse 29 Jesus chose to do what was necessary to make us his brothers and sisters. What does his decision teach us about his wonderful love for us? Tuesday, January 18, flesh and blood the same as us. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 50. Hebrews says that Jesus became human. As a human, Jesus can help us and die for us. Hebrews 2 verse 9, verses 14 to 16. Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 10. This Bible truth is the most important part of the plan God made to save us. The Bible truth also gives us our only hope for everlasting life. 
Read Matthew 16 verse 17, Galatians 1 verse 16, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 50, and Ephesians 6 verse 12. These verses talk about human weakness. What are some weaknesses we as sinners have? Flesh and blood, Ephesians 6 verse 12. Is a word picture for sinners and their weaknesses. Because of sin, we also die. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 50. Hebrews says that Jesus was made the same as his brothers in all things. Hebrews 2 verse 17. These words show us that Jesus became completely human. Jesus did not only look human, he also really was human, the same as us. But Hebrews also says that Jesus was different from us. Jesus did not sin. Hebrews 4 verse 15. That is how Jesus can be our spiritual leader. Jesus is holy. He is good. He has never done anything wrong. Hebrews 7 verse 26. As sinners, our hearts are evil. We are born the slaves of sin. Paul says, the law is right and good, but I am a person who does what is wrong and bad. I am not my own boss. Sin is my boss. Romans 7 verse 14. Read also Romans 7 verses 15 to 20. Jesus came as our Savior. He offered himself to God for our sins. He is holy. He has no sin in him. He is pure, clean without guilt. Hebrews 7 verse 26. Read also Hebrews 7 verses 27 and 28. Now God can forgive us and accept us because Jesus lived an obedient life and then offered himself for our sins. Hebrews 2 verses 14 to 17. Jesus also keeps the promises in the new agreement. He writes his law in our hearts. Hebrews 8 verse 10. He gives us the strength to live holy lives. Jesus beat the enemy for us too. Jesus made us free from sin. He gives us power over sin in our lives. Now we can serve the living God. Hebrews 9 verse 14. Yes, Jesus beat the devil and sin, but we must wait for a time before Satan is destroyed. Satan will be destroyed forever when God finishes his final work as judge. Revelation 20 verses 1 to 3 and 10. Jesus promises to help us win the war against sin. So why do we fight against sin and fail? What are we doing wrong? How can we live the life that Jesus wants for us? Wednesday, January 19. Jesus is made perfect by suffering. Hebrews 2 verses 10, 17, and 18. Read Hebrews 2 verses 10, 17, and 18, and Hebrews 5 verses 8 and 9. Why did Jesus suffer? How was his suffering an important part of the plan of God to save sinners? Paul says that God made Jesus a perfect Savior through by his suffering. Hebrews 2 verse 10. This verse is surprising. Paul already told us that Jesus shines as bright as God. He is just like the same as God himself. Hebrews 1 verse 3, Paul also tells us that Jesus did not sin. Hebrews 4 verse 15, as our spiritual leader, Jesus is holy. He has no sin in him. Hebrews 7 verse 26, Jesus gave himself as a perfect gift to God. Hebrews 9 verse 14, read also Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 10. If Jesus did not sin, why did he need to be made perfect by suffering? The Bible tells us the answer. Jesus was God's son. 
but by suffering, he learned what it means to obey. In this way, he was made perfect, eternal, everlasting salvation. The plan of God to save us from sin comes from him. He saves all those people who obey him. Hebrews 5 verses 8 and 9. So suffering made Jesus fit to save us. Let us look at these ways that suffering made Jesus fit to be our Savior and High Priest, our spiritual leader. Number one, God made Jesus a perfect leader by having him suffer for man's sins. Hebrews 2 verse 10. The death of Jesus allowed God to save us and show us mercy. Jesus is the only one who can make that mercy possible. As God, Jesus can help us. As our sin offering, Jesus also can save us. Number two, suffering taught Jesus how to obey. Hebrews 5 verse 8. Why did Jesus need to learn obedience? First, the obedience of Jesus made it possible for God to accept the death of Jesus for our sins. Hebrews 9 verse 14, Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 10. Second, the sufferings of Jesus helped him to become our example. Hebrews 5 verse 9, so Jesus learned obedience because obedience was a new experience for him. As God, did Jesus need to obey anyone? Of course not. Everyone obeyed Jesus, the King of Heaven and the Everlasting Son. But to save us, the powerful Son of God became the obedient Son of Man. Number three, Jesus never sinned, so he is a high priest we can trust. Hebrews 2 verses 17 and 18. He is full of mercy. Suffering did not fill Jesus with more mercy for us. The mercy already in his heart caused Jesus to come to suffer and die for us. Hebrews 10 verses 5 to 10. Compare with Romans 5 verses 7 and 8. The suffering of Jesus show us his love as a brother. Thursday, January 20. The brother as an example. Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 4. Another reason why Jesus became human and lived as a man was to be our example. Jesus is the only one who can show us the right way to live. Read Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 4. In these verses, Paul compares the Christian life to a race. How does Paul say we should run this race? In these verses, Jesus is the last person in a long list of people who show us faith. Paul says that Jesus is the leader of our faith and he is the one who makes our faith complete. Hebrews 12 verse 2 The word written as leader comes from the Greek word archegos. Archegos also can be written as pioneer. Jesus is the pioneer of the race. We must run as Christians. Jesus runs ahead of us to show us the way. Hebrews 6 verse 20 says that Jesus went ahead of us to make a way for us to God. The words, the one who makes our faith complete, teach us that Jesus showed the strongest faith in God possible. Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 4 also teaches us Jesus ran the race with success. Jesus showed us what living by faith is all about. In Hebrews 2 verse 13, Paul writes words from Isaiah 8 verse 17 and 18. In these verses from Isaiah, Jesus talks to his father and again he says, I will put my trust in God. At another time he said, Here I am with the children God gave me. Hebrews 2 verse 13. Read also Isaiah 8 verses 17 and 18. Isaiah says these words just before the kings of northern Israel and Syria joined their armies. Together, 
These kings plan to enter the kingdom of Judah by force. Isaiah 7 verses 1 and 2. Isaiah showed faith in God at this time, but King Ahaz showed no faith in God. 2 Kings 16 verses 5 to 18. God promised to protect Ahaz as his own son. God says, Ahaz may ask him for a sign to show him that God will keep his promise. Ahaz refuses. Ahaz sends messengers to Tiglath Pleaser, the king of Assyria, with the message, I am your servant and your son. 2 Kings 16 verse 7. How sad! Ahaz wishes to be a son of his enemy and not the son of God. Jesus is different from Ahaz. Jesus puts his trust in God and his promise. God promises Jesus that he will put his enemies under his control. Hebrews 1 verse 13, Hebrews 10 verses 12 and 13. God makes the same promise to us. We need to believe God too, just as Jesus did. Romans 16 verse 20. Friday, January 21. Additional thought. Hebrews 2 verse 13 shows us the words of Jesus. Jesus talks to his father about his brothers and sisters. Here I am with the children God gave me. Hebrews 2 verse 13. Patrick Gray says that these verses show us that Jesus protects and takes care of his brothers and sisters. The Romans had a law that helps us understand this idea about Jesus. The Roman law is known as tutela impuberum in the Latin language. This law helped protect Roman children when their fathers died. A school teacher became responsible for the children and their money until the children grew up. The school teacher was often an older brother of the children. This Roman law showed that the older brother had a duty to take care of his younger brothers and sisters. Godly fear, the letter to the Hebrews and Greco-Roman critics of superstition. Atlanta, Society of Biblical Literature, 2003, page 126, adapted. This Roman law helps explain why Paul says we are the brothers and sisters of Jesus and his children. As an older brother, Jesus is our teacher. He also is the one who protects us. Jesus came to this earth as a man. He became our helper who goes to the Father for us. Jesus did these things to show us an important Bible truth in the worldwide war between God and Satan, we can obey every rule in the law of God if we connect ourselves with the Father and the Son. Ellen G. White, Selected Messages, Book 1, page 253, Adapted. In his life and lessons, Jesus gave us a perfect example. He showed us how to work for God and not to be selfish. God does not live for himself. Jesus made this earth and keeps everything going. These things show us that Jesus always works to help the people he made. He makes his sun shine on both wrong and good people. He lets the rain fall on people who do right and on people who do wrong. Matthew 5 verse 45 God gave his son this work of keeping everything alive. God also made Jesus our leader. In these things, Jesus shows us how not to be selfish. The perfect example of Jesus teaches us how we should serve God and other people. Ellen G. White, The Desire of Ages, page 649, adapted. Discussion questions. Number one, Hebrews tells us that Jesus became our brother to save us. Knowing this, what do you think when you see people refuse to accept his mercy and be saved? Number two, how does the story about Moses help us understand 
in a small way what Jesus did for us and continues to do now 